Hey guys, what's up? Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody is having a fantastic week. Um, wanted to come live today and talk with you a little bit about burnout, specifically to all of my loves, my type A personality loves. This camera is weird, I need to fix it. Okay. Um, so for those who don't know me, my name is Shannon Wooten. I am a writer, a life coach, and an infertility survivor. And I help people step out of the closet, step out from underneath whatever it is that's holding them back, and encourage them to take up a massive amount of space and living life exactly as themselves. So today I want to talk about burn out and being on the struggle bus. And the reason why I want to chat about this is because <sighs> I'm exhausted guys. <laughs> I'm working some serious burnouts and I am up against a vacation um, at the beginning of June looking at my calendar, super excited about it. But you know, I always like to share with you guys about what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through because I am a regular, normal, human. So anything that I feel like I'm going through, you might be going through too. Hey, Kim, hey. So I have been experiencing, like I just said, you guys, burnout. I have a lot going on. I have, My book edits are due at the end of this month. And um, ironically enough, I've been talking to a lot of people that are going through burnout and on the struggle bus as well. And one of the things that I've learned that's best for me in the middle of my burnout when I'm on the struggle bus is to freaking just be with it to stop doing so much, trying to control so much, stop being in my head and come from my heart. And for my type A personalities out there, I'm going to assume that most of you understand what it's like to bring the power, like bring the force, bring the funk. You know how to execute, lay down and show up in a big way. And you may not have heard, you know, in the course of your life that you're intimidating or that you're dominating or that, you know, you don't listen to people and, you know, whatever. You're just kind of like, ah, a whole lot. And there's probably a part of you that has an awareness around like, yeah, I can bring the power. I can bring the funk. I can turn it on and execute like a mofo. But the thing that, you know, comes from being that way and executing that way is burnout. We can constantly be on our hustle game and get to the point where we realize like, dude, I don't even know what it is I'm doing. Like I need some R and R. I need some relaxation. I need some release and a few examples, right? So one of the things that I find on my hustle bus is that I find myself doing a lot of things for other people all the time and kind of like cleaning up after them, if you will, being accountable for them, if you will, showing up for them, if you will, and kind of giving them back doors not to do it for themselves. Like finding that, you know, if let's say somebody, let's say you work at a corporate job, you're in a day job and somebody has a task. And instead of you guiding them or asking them to take a shot at it, you do it for them. You say things like, oh, it's just easier if I do it myself. You do it for others instead of allowing them to do it for themselves. Because there's that, that thing that pops in your mind that's like, oh, I should just do it for them. And in doing that, we allow them to have a back door. We allow them to have the scapegoat. And we dominate. Instead of trusting that our intention is, oh, I want to guide them. I want to help them. I want to lead them. And let them have their intentions meet. Their, their goals show up for themselves. Or another thing is maybe my type A personalities find that it's super easy to understand their power. But coming from their heart becomes a little bit more difficult. Being vulnerable becomes a little bit more difficult. And so you might find that there are certain things that you're willing to share, certain things that you feel like you know without a shadow of a doubt, and you'll share on those. But when it comes from being vulnerable, you keep those to yourself. You keep your opinions to yourself. You don't want to have someone judge you or think that you're coming from a place of dominating and not trusting that your intention is to be good. Trusting that your intention is to show love, to share love. And so instead you keep it down back, you keep it all in. And if you've watched any of my stories before, you know that I've encountered this, right? I've shared with you that throughout the course of my life, I'm not a stranger to hearing from people that like, wow, you're a lot. Like your energy is like up here. You're at a 10. We could use you at a two. I've heard that a lot. And I've also in my corporate environment, I've had people say like, wow, her personality is dominating. Wow. It's overwhelming. But I have the responsibility to, yeah, understand that and just that that's other people can feel, but also to myself also to understand if I'm coming from a place of power and my intention is meeting that, or if I'm coming from a place of show to dominate versus connecting. So 
This month, as I told you, I'm up against burnout and I'm feeling overwhelmed by it, right? It's, it's, I have things I need to get done. Do I let the task paralysis or the overwhelm paralysis kind of like get in the way? Or can I come from my heart space and allow my intention to meet it? To own it that I'm feeling overwhelmed. To own it that I'm getting in my own way. To own it that I just want to be about the hustle and I'm not allowing myself to have any love. I'm not allowing myself to take a break. I'm not allowing myself to notice what comes up. So for all of my type A personalities out there who feel the constant need to be on their hustle, to feel the constant need to only speak what they know about, what they're comfortable about, what they can dominate on, I encourage you to allow other people to do things. Give up some of the responsibility. Trust that your power can also come from a place of honest love and intention that they can do it too. It's not you being a bitch. It's not you being dominating. It's you relinquishing some things for yourself and knowing what you need when you feel like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. I got too much on my plate. Take some things off. Know that you can get back to it. Know that you can choose again. Don't all gotta be right now. And for those of you, my type A'ers, like I said, who are out there fearing the opinions of others and keeping your opinions to yourself and only speaking on the things that you feel confident about, who the fuck cares if you screw up? Who the fuck cares if you say something that, you know, may not be received well? How was your intention? Was your intention to convey love? Was your intention to connect? Or was your intention to dominate? And I'm not saying one or the other is better. I'm just saying if you feel burnt out, it could be because your hustle game is hard freaking core. That you're on 24-7. You're always worrying about what's going on out there, what other people are thinking. Instead of trusting what you're doing, how you're being, what you want to show up as. And allowing you to come from a place of connection. Allowing you to come from a place of intention. So, like I said, takes one to know one, guys. I'm on the struggle bus this month. I'm in the burnout this month. And when I get in the burnout, I can get all in my head. Worrying about what other people think. Worrying about whether or not I should share. Worrying about how I'm going to execute or if I'm not. And when I get in that place, I find that I'm more focused on my power. I'm more focused on the show execute, meet the deadline, you know, show who you are versus what do I need? What's going to allow me to feel fulfilled? What's going to give me some love and some play and allow me to get reconnected to what is my intention? All right, guys, thanks so much for signing on. As always, be easy, have some love this week for yourself and uh, have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.